Live from Austin, Texas, with host Rosie Newberry. Local trends, shopping, and more. This is Studio 512. Hey, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us for what is going to be a very special edition of Studio 512. That's because we are live. It's the 34th annual Family Elder Care Summer Fan Drive. KXAN is so proud to be a partner of this. And it is going to be a wonderful event that continues to raise money and fans for our Central, Te Central Texas neighbors in need. Right now, we're at Roger Beasley Mazda South. That's where we're going to be hanging out through the course of the show today. And we're going to talk to some really wonderful people. But real quickly, I want to talk to you about the need, the reason all these fans are piling up, okay? It's kind of putting me in my old meteorologist days, but here's the deal with Texas, is as we know, it is very hot during the day. The number one problem though, is that it's also hot and humid at night. It means bodies cannot rest, cannot recuperate if they do not have air conditioning in their homes. And this number is gonna shock you. There are about 10,000 people here in Central Texas alone who are estimated to have no AC in their homes. That means that heat is dangerous and when they come home at the end of the day, whether they've worked outside or worked in an office, they cannot recuperate. That's because it stays so hot, so humid. So heat is cumulative. After a couple of days of that, you start to become more at risk for heat exhaustion, heat stroke, some really dangerous things. So fans save lives. It would be wonderful to put air conditioning in everybody's homes here in Central Texas, but the truth is even if we put in an air conditioning unit, it may not be able to be run because it is expensive to run AC here in Texas, as you know. So fans are the answer. Not only can they cool a body temperature up to eight degrees, that is a life-saving amount, but also they run for pennies on the dollar. So it helps our Central Texas neighbors in need, and there are thousands of them to help today. Let's talk about what you can do. It's a big day today. It's 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., so we're not even at the halfway point yet. Y'all can still help. What we are taking at five locations, here in Central Texas is fans and funds. That's monetary donations. I want to talk real quickly about both of those. Guys, you can stop by Walmart, Target, uh, go to HEB, or it may not be at HEB actually, check Lowe's, check Home Depot. These Lasco box fans, y'all, are still pretty affordable. They're on the realm. I just checked prices of 20 to 25 dollars not only that but if you want to bring money down here we love to have money do you know why family elder care is so good at what they do they work in economies of scale so 25 dollars in their pocket means that they can purchase more fans than we can as a retail consumer so if you want to hand a fan directly to us we'll take it if you want it to be fancy 12 inch three speed oscillating fan we will take it too we love that but if you just want to pick up a box fan and bring it on down here, it is more than welcome. So I want to mention those locations. As I said, money welcome anywhere. You can bring it cash. You can bring a check. We'll take anything. Come on down to the Roger Beasley Mazda locations in Austin. So that's Roger Beasley Mazda Central. That's off Burnett. Down here, we're at Roger Beasley Mazda South. And then there's also a Roger Beasley Mazda up in Georgetown. You can also come to KXAN. There are five total locations. Learn a little bit more about them online. And of course, I want to mention as well, if you're a person who needs a fan, you can check out drop-off locations uh, by going to familyeldercare.org. I want to chat with a very special gentleman today. He was here in this exact same place last year. <laughs> it's Brett Hill. He's the general manager of Roger Beasley Mazda South. Brett, it's great to see you. You as well. And thanks for coming out, everybody. Of course. It's been an early day for you, my friend. You've been on TV a couple of times. Uh, How has it felt so far to have kind of this excitement out here? Uh, it feels awesome. Anytime we can give back to those in our community is, is just great. It just fills us up with joy. Um, you know, that we've got a lot of volunteers out here doing a lot of good work. We've got customers dropping off fans. We've got donations coming in. At this location, we're almost at $1,000 for the day. So, you know, we want to make this thing big. We want to help keep our Central Texans safe, especially our elderly. So we're almost at $1,000 for the day. I want to ask you, what's your personal goal? All of it? Uh, all of it. We'll take all uh, of your money. <laughs> you know, they, they set a goal for 1000 for us. I, I, 
I'm looking at 2500 to 3000 I want to get at this location. Okay. So, you know, everybody, every dollar helps. Absolutely. And there's been a big jump in money, I will say. It's kind of like everybody's waking up, everybody's getting on the road. Big jump in donations from 5000 total to 16000 total in the last two hours, y'all. So we are now on a roll. We want to make this the biggest, best year ever for our neighbors in need. I want to ask a little bit more as well, Brett, if I can, about why Roger Beasley Mosta wants to help. You know, our community is very important to us. Um, Mr. Beasley actually saw the fan drive years ago on TV, and he's, it really touched his heart, okay? He, he really wants to help take care of these people as much as we can. We can't save everybody, but we can sure try. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And so if somebody's watching this morning, maybe they have an extra 20 minutes in their day. They haven't gotten off the couch yet, or they haven't left their at-home office yet. What would you say to them? Come on by. Come see us. Make a donation. It, none, nothing is too small or too big. Bring a fan, bring a dollar, bring a $20 bill. Whatever you can bring helps. Helps our helps our local elder, elderly. I, I'm so glad you said that, Brett. Any dollar amount is accepted. We love anything. And you're right. This is helping those who are kind of our older populations here in Central Texas and also the youngest ones that we have here. So we want to support our neighbors the best that we can. We're going to catch up with you in another couple minutes. Thank you so much. Sounds good to me. Okay, guys, familyeldercare.org is where you can go if you want to learn more about fan sites, if you want to learn more about getting plugged into services. In fact, we're going to talk with Megan Jones as well. She's part of uh, Family Elder Care. She's going to tell us more about the mission. So it's a very fun show. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a few minutes.